The Howard Hughes Medical Institute uh, certainly is the leading private biomedical research funding agency in this country, and they have funded the most spectacular superior scientists, and they have created so many new discoveries. But they are also very interested in the pipeline for science education. I think everybody's read the literature on this where kids are very excited about science, they're naturally curious because it is just so enthralling to go out and ask questions about nature and how things work. They get into school and by the time they're in middle school and certainly in high school, science becomes boring and drudgery. Certainly on a personal level, I have five kids and I've watched each one of them in succession want to be a scientist, just like mom and dad. And then by the time they get to high school, they wonder, how could you do this all day? It's so boring. It's much easier to teach, especially laboratories, on the college level and the high school level, but even the college level, even at great places like William and Mary and other great schools, it's easier to teach laboratories which have known questions, known answers, what we call kind of canned laboratories. Howard Hughes Medical Institute said, you know, we're just going to lose all of our really bright students who think they want to go into science, but then get into these introductory level labs and think, this is terrible, this is boring, I don't want to do this. They came up with a program that was going to have freshmen in introductory courses as part of the course, as part of the laboratory, actually do real research. Virtually nobody does this. The first of these programs from the Science Education Alliance was this phage genome research project. And the goal of this was to have this year-long laboratory, so basically a single laboratory in which the students did real research and that would be discovering these new bacteriophage and characterizing them all the way through the sequence and the annotation. So they would see from the very start of this project the beginnings of it and then hopefully carry it through a publication.